Okay, so before we begin, I just want to say this is going to be my intro for each episode. And if you are somebody you know is going through these types of problems or that you're about to see on the show, I'm going to leave some links in the description. And this is residue some type of emotions please please check them out so anyway i'm to begin hello yeah so victoria episode six last episode seemed like a domestic abuse problem problematic episode yeah you know what maddie should just sue she really should we need to get over that relationship get her off oh my goodness i'm just reading some chats in discord yep so anyway Enough of that. I'm done for Discord tonight. We just had a conversation about garlic soda, but that's neither here or there. What we're talking about today is episode six. So we're gonna be getting into this one soon. Let me just uh think. I only got two more after this. It's not bad. Pretty good actually. So anyway. Uh I'm really hoping Nate gets arrested. But something tells me he's got that hot armor. Which means he's not going to. So anyway. Let's just press play and find out. Get my Red Bull ready. Ooh, so good. I should have got some water. But you guys like in a relationship? No, we just chilling. Why would you say that? You skip that in, bro. Christopher McKay's father demanded excellence. Although she feeds me bread of bitterness and sinks into my throat, her tiger's tooth, stealing my breath of life, I will confess. I love this quartered hell that tests my youth. I have a strong you think you are, you are stronger. Her vigor oh, kid. tides into my blood, giving me strength, erect against her hate. Her bigness sweeps terror, malice, not a word of really get into that Shakespeare. You are, you stronger. Darkly, I gaze into the days ahead and see her might and oh, granite wait. wonders there beneath That's the touch of time's unnearing hand, like priceless treasures sinking in the sand. I'm trying to think huh? what this is, but it sounds it's coming out the Shakespeare like. His father, for the pressure he put on him, he knew it was because he was special, because he had a gift. Because he saw something in him that could one day. Hey. Of the game. You get emotional, you lose. You get angry, you lose. Dad, he called I me. don't give a good goddamn. Why do you think he's talking to you in the first place? Because, he... because he's trying to get a rise out of you, trying to make you upset, lose focus. How much you can take, and how much you can take is what will ultimately define you. Because the That's measure of a man really is in how inspirational. He reacts. I gotta admit. How am I supposed to react? And everything you feel, all your frustrations, your anger, your rage, bumps, you let it explode. Hey! I think a lot of kids need to hear that. The truth was, McKay was shy. And then he got to college, and he realized that everyone on the team was as good as him, if not better. 
He spent all of preseason on the bench. Hey, that's when the offensive college. coordinator would Everywhere break down plays. For you. He'd find his mind wandering trying to do the math and the odds in 85 players per team that made him one of 10,965. And he realized game. he didn't stand a chance of going pro. Mm. Dating Cassie. You are literally the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. And as stupid as it sounds, Oof. he fell in love with her. That's probably what was getting in the way. Cassie is all he ever thought about. And those fucking photos and that fucking video he just couldn't understand how she could have so little respect for herself. But every time I feel good, I think it'll last forever. Wow. <laughs> um, you, you look fucking amazing. Thank you. I don't really Supposed feel to be it, but... Romeo and Juliet. She's getting a little right, doesn't. distant. Um, you smell like alcohol. Uh, I mean, it's Halloween. Right? Oh, Halloween episode. Mouse, look at you! Wow! Isn't Halloween tomorrow, hon? At college, they have Halloween parties all weekend, Mom. Oh. Oh, sweetie, you look so beautiful. I I'm never early. had that. My I'm school. Sure romance. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you, Cass. I feel like if we go to this party and you dress like that, I ain't gonna ever hear the end of it. I'm like a good boy or a bad boy. Thanks, Daniel. I love the scene where they fuck in the telephone booth. Hey, All right, for romance. How did I not pick that up? Ted Bundy was taller. So? Ted's parents were out of town yeah. for the weekend. So? Which was good because it gave her the freedom to focus on the important things. No You're so fucking worthless. She now had four men that she cammed with on a regular basis, all of whom she affectionately referred to as her pay pigs. Let me see you oink piggy. <laughs> My dream in life is to bankrupt you. She was getting a number of incoming requests for cam sessions, <laughs> most of which she could Oh my god. I like and that. Then, last night. Bob Ross. I like it. The painter from PBS. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> hey, creepy. <laughs> the whole point of Halloween is to look attractive. Do me a favor and you count how many girlfriends of yours are dressed up like 50 year old men. Report back to me. Wow. Really? Is it too much? No. Absolutely no. not. <laughs> wow. Wow. The mother's really you know when you're with messing with their heads. All right. Oh. It's good to see you, Cal. Tim, likewise. Yeah. Is Wilson, it? Um, right. Now, if uh, their son in trouble, I don't want they're not you getting to do because I know you're here with your family and yeah. everything. But the situation they're not getting with your son. The respect. Is... They just. A lot of people are talking. He's innocent, Tim. He didn't do it. I know. I know. It's just with him here at this time. It's just for him. Attention to the best friend. We don't want him. What? First, Nate spent most of his days in bed. Then he decided to spend his days driving around aimlessly. I used to like doing that. So. Sometimes he'd check in on Maddie. Sometimes he'd check in on Jules. Okay, a little weird. Jules. He met Maddie every Friday night at the motel. He looked forward to it every week. Maddie always made him feel better. Gotta be fucking joking. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What the fuck are you doing here? Get Is that thing do? <laughs> no, I'll do with your ass later. Get up. What? Wait. Oh, okay. 
she is drunk. Hardcore motherfuckers. It's true. I went once. It was scary. You know what happens when you spend an extended amount of time in rehab? Mm -hmm. I like this. You tend to make friends with those hardcore motherfuckers. So let me be very clear with you. If you so much as go past first base with my little sister and try to get her high again, I will call Omar, I will call Marlo, I will call Avon, I will call Brother Mozone, I will call fucking Bodie, and I will call fucking Stringer, and I will have these motherfuckers standing outside of your front lawn. Do you hear me? Or even Weebay. 100%. Do you know what kind of people these are? These are the kind of people who will stand. Tell her you understand. I understand. There you go. <laughs> now go in there. Tell my little sister she looks nice. <clears throat> hey, what's up, kid? Hey, man. Uh, look, I owe you an apology. Nah, come on now. You good? For real, man, I, I um... I said some really fucked up shit I didn't mean. Listen, Rue, you a drug addict. I don't take nothing a drug addict says personally, because I don't believe nothing a drug addict says. I love you, I hate you, you the best, go fuck yourself. It's all the same shit, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just looking for an angle in. I got you. That's a good friend. Even though he's a drug dealer, but he still sober? looks out for her. Yeah. And how's that? Yeah, it's weird. I've been fucked up so long that it kind of feels like a new drug. I feel it. The highs I think of you. Just getting a little creepy. My it's a little bit sus the way he keeps on looking at her. I don't trust him. Was that? And yeah, that was creepy. Seems like something happened to him more in his past make him react like that you know PTSD so do you not want to have sex anymore no I mean, I mean I kind yeah of just... kind of a mood killer of course well then get undressed the homegirl right there mm, what what is going on with Jules? Is that why you want to fuck me? But no, no, no. It's so, not. so you don't? No, I mean, I mean, I, you do or you don't want to fuck me even? I do want to fuck you. Just well, explain. Fuck because you like her. Suppose that. Really? Yeah. Because they just get too emotionally attached. Plus, they're too shy. They like to fuck people and know how to fuck. Damn, what are you tr trying to do? Eat her whole mouth? Jules, what are you doing? Although I joy in these. 
have no joy in this contract tonight. What are you talking about? I don't know what that means. Too, too sudden. Too like the lightning which doth cease to be. Jules, you're drunk, OK? And you sound like an idiot. Can you please get out of the pool? Air, one can say it led of love by summer's ripening breath may prove a beauteous oh, flower when we She is meet. doing Shakespeare. OK. And maybe Ellie was right about Jules. Cause it's still stop, okay? Can you stop? Stop. 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 Oh, jeez. That's kind of cool. Ah, but still. Ah, right. He still didn't tell him. What do you want? Yeah, for real. Need something from you. Nick, what? why would I? Because I'll put you in jail. Ah, prick. Or on a sex registry. I mean, it's your choice. I don't want to force you to do anything. you're about to get your ass kicked real soon right you're not turned on it's not about that so we can't have sex no you're the most beautiful girl i've ever seen has anyone ever told you that yeah the boyfriend who you're about to meet. Oh. Hey. Sorry, hey. So close. Daniel, come on. Jesse. Look. I really like you. I wouldn't tell anyone. I'm I feel really drunk. I should just go home. What, are you joking? No, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Sorry for what? And what you have to say or what you think about things is if you're so fucking interesting? Mm. Fuck, are you dumb? You came on to me, remember? And ever since then, you show up, you lead me on, and then you whine about your fucking boyfriend. Like, every time you start talking, I think to myself, who the f Look at that. Demeanor chain. Hey, I'm gonna be it's like you're really you no one else a serial killer. Any guy who says he's interested in you, be oh, you're crying now. What else is new? Ouch. I'm saying it's stupid, but um. So, what is going on with Jules? Okay, I figured out what he's gonna do. The best. There's no way I'm getting drafted. Hmm. You let 
out, creep in. That's why he's gonna pin it on this guy. That's why he said his name was Tyler when they first met. Uh, no, when he was talking. Morning, Tyler. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh, God. Sit down, Tyler. Please, man. Right there. What's my other option? Well, I mean, go about your day. But at some point, Madeline Perez is going to go down to the East Highland Police Station. She's going to walk up to the receptionist. She's going to say that she'd like to report a crime. What crime? On the weekend before school started, she went to a party. She got intoxicated. She was raped in the swimming pool by a 22-year-old college student named Tyler Clarkson. Either way, it doesn't fucking matter. Damn, the way this guy is ruining lives really sick. Can I help you? Yes. I'm here to confess to a crime. Do you recognize that man? Yes. He was the guy who assaulted me the night of the carnival. Horrible that you're going along with this, too. Riley, we got a girl in 202 says she witnessed the Perez assault. I kind of like stopped and looked for a second. And then he grabbed her by the neck and kind of like pushed her up against the side of the trailer. And then I immediately recognized that it was Maddie. And I knew, I knew the guy's face from somewhere. I just couldn't like place it. Uh, and then Maddie, the night of McKay's party. Did anyone coerce you into making this statement today? No. Yes, absolutely. And you realize that filing a false police report or making false statements to the police Impeding a criminal investigation is a very serious crime, punishable by up to seven years in prison. I do. Uh, damn. I feel so bad for that guy. Happy Halloween! me all a lot i don't know why <laughs> i just wanted to see him get arrested i don't know oh well that's why she was drinking like that she's feeling guilty and on top of it it's with uh that girl. So, wow. And it really came in wearing that gel outfit. Ugh. Shame. Shameful. Anyway, that's it for this ep episode. And I should be getting into seven the next night. But 
I still gotta wait a while. Post these. Anyway, until next time.